Wonderful! Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, enchanté. Jim Milton. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. <sighs> No, I don't think so. I ride a lot of horses. I'm afraid the whalebone might stick in. Hmm, well, a cup of tea. <sighs> sure. Now, what is it you do, Mr. Milton? Are you a gentleman of leisure, uh, an aesthete, uh, oh, an artist? Uh, I suppose I'm kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? Sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. You do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. See what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Mr. Milton. It'll be very worth your while.